My names are Chief King's Heart Obani Carlo Okpai. I'm a native of Ebema Ahofia in Abia State, the uncle of Friday Aronsi that was shot during the COVID. He was shot on the 17th day of April, around 10 p.m., by a police at Ebema Ahofia. The police, there were three policemen. They came with uh, a car. When these boys were offloading provisions goods around 10 o'clock, when the police came, they said the police was, maybe they came from a bar, they might be drunk or so. So after having confrontation with the police, not only him, there were other people there. The policeman moved to the police station and took a rifle from the police station and started shooting. During that incident of shooting, he now shot Friday dead. When he shot Friday, they tried to rescue the boy, took him to hospital. On their way to the hospital, they found out that the boy was dead. You know, as a young boy who has been trying, struggling for his life to survive, people hearing young other young people, both market women and other other people, hearing that this boy has been shot by a police, there was rampage. The people now took to the street because the annoyance, the provocation of the police shooting an innocent citizen. They weren't fighting. Maybe it's from a change of word or whatever it was that could warrant a policeman to go straight to the police station, pick a rifle to come there to shoot. I took up the case, went to, wrote, because this case wasn't my case alone. It was the case between uh, the whole uh, Ohofia community. So I have to write to Ohofia community that we have been trying to hear from the police and nothing has happened. The Hofia community also wrote to the DIG because at then the DIG visited us at home. Both the Commission of Police, the DIG, the, the local government chairman, even the governor sent his deputy to come. They all paid a condolence visit. In all, nothing has been happened. Nothing has happened, even up to now. And this boy that was shot, it's just the boy that is coming up, finished school, trying to make up his living. A boy, you can see that I'm getting old. This is the boy that we all hope on, that will assist the family. And he was wasted like that. So we are now appealing for justice. We have been seeking for justice. All we are saying that justice has to be done. In, not only that we are seeking for justice, we want the police to be reformed. When the police is reformed, such cases won't come up again. When the police is being retrained, they could know how to approach the public. That's what we are seeking for. And I also believe that the whole of Nigerians want the same thing. You said that police is our friend. But in a case like this, you can see People do no longer trust the police. He was a promising young man. So we are missing a lot. I know there is no amount paid that could bring back his life. When you miss such a person, it never be an easy thing for us to raise him up from our mind. One is a peacefully loving, loving soul. I know he like friendship, he like associating with people. That was why you see that rampage, because it's somebody that goes around trying to help the, the poor ones. The case is in the panel, in the judicial panel, handling the police brutality and other related matters at home here. That's where the case is now.
With the help of God, we, we know something might come out, but you can't predict Nigerian government. <laughs>